electric vehicles are the future for all we know as we speak more companies are developing more electric vehicles and those electric vehicles require batteries and you know there could be a lot of batteries in production right now however today we in india have witnessed a sea change it is kind of a milestone that we have not seen the like of before and that is what we are here to tell you about today hello and welcome to drive spark i'm stephen neil and you join us at log 9's day 0 What is day zero? Well, day zero is where Log9 has marked their next milestone, a step towards the future. And well, the key to that future is right here in my hand. This is a TIB battery, and I'm here to tell you all about this battery and the electric vehicles it will be powering in the future. So let's delve right into this battery. So as you can see, there are quite a few electric vehicles that I am surrounded by, and all of these vehicles are kind of prototypes on which this battery cell is being tested. And the big news is that this battery cell is now made in India. As you can see, it is etched on right here. It says "Made in India, Day Zero," and with today's date, that is 21st April 2022. And this is where India has entered the realm of. battery cell production right there we have it in this facility battery cells are being made uh, so what is this battery all about what is the composition i'll tell you more about it in detail let's first look at the ev atmosphere in india the ev ecosystem first so electric vehicles are of course the future we all know it a lot has been said about it a lot is being said about it now what is the future exactly so electric vehicles were first powered by lead acid batteries now those are archaic old batteries that don't really have any advantages to them except maybe cranking your car or your scooter or your motorcycle so lead batteries are good for those it can be stuck only to those purposes but using it to power an electric vehicle throughout was kind of risky business and that is where the next technology came into the picture that is lithium powered batteries so lithium based batteries lithium ion batteries uh, you've got your lfp nmc and lto batteries so these are the batteries of the future and everyone does know this whoever is very of what's happening in the ev ecosystem knows that lto is the technology of the future lithium titanium oxide and that is exactly what this battery is made of until now though no one could really find a commercially viable production system for lto batteries a lot of companies have made the nmc batteries before nickel manganese and cobalt is what nmc stands for and these batteries were good for a few certain markets across the world for the indian scenario though it was not tropicalized it was not it was not suitable to our more humid temperatures are heated up atmosphere uh, it is we are in a heat wave right now and those batteries are causing quite a few safety incidents safety concerns and then the next thing is lfp lfp batteries are good it's for those who are not very concerned about range but for those who are concerned about range and performance well lto is the way to go and that is exactly what log9 has engineered so this is one of the few first battery cells manufactured in india now coming to battery cell technology battery cell manufacturing we have in india been importing battery cells until now all the electric vehicle manufacturers that have already launched their electric vehicles in india made in india electric vehicles well all of the vehicle could be made in india except for the battery cell because the battery cells were imported either from europe america or from china now though we have entered into the realm of battery cell production and as you can see it's pretty big usually battery cells are of smaller size most vehicle manufacturers use smaller size battery cells and those cells are all linked so an electric car can have thousands of those little battery cells uh this one though is much bigger so you can have 20% more energy stored in it and 25% more power density through this battery because it is much bigger in size and since it is bigger in size you can have a few fewer of these battery cells linked together to give you the desired output and that is the beauty of this so this is called TIB it stands for tropical ionized battery and what it simply means is it has been engineered in india for indian conditions for the tropical conditions that we find across the country it could be the harsh uh, winters in some parts of the country or could be the harsh summers uh, that could have a lot of moisture that could affect the battery cells none of those would affect this battery cell because this is made in india for india uh, well to be honest it's an engineering feat it's an engineering achievement and kudos to log9 for achieving this this is made in india the lithium also will be recycled from batteries that are already in india 
So it is a complete made in India solution for made in India vehicles and kudos to Log9 for manufacturing this. Really looking forward to seeing this. Log9 says this will hit the production line, commercial production line by September 2022 and we are really looking forward to seeing these batteries being produced. That's it from us for now. Thank you for watching. Do let us know if you have any questions regarding this. Let us know in the comments below. Also, do let us know your views on India achieving its first made in India battery cell, lithium ion battery cell. Thank you so much for watching. This is Stephen Neal signing off.